Two males wearing uh, dark clothing, sweatshirts, and full face ski masks entered the store with small automatic weapons, look like uh, submachine guns. Masked gunmen enter a Cape Coral Circle K on Skyline Boulevard. The two intruders hit the store in a professional, coordinated attack, straight for the cash. One robber distracted one of the clerks, and the other robber distracted the other clerk. They actually pointed the, the weapons at the heads of the clerks, and they removed the entire cash drawer, jumped the counter, and exited the store all within a matter of minutes. They were very fast, very, very practiced. Our canine unit did a track from the store and led us to the discarded cash drawer. So they took the cash from the drawer, threw the drawer on the ground, got into an SUV and fled. They haven't been seen or heard from since. What's particular about this case is the type of weapon they used. A, a compact style Uzi type machine gun is very uncommon in this area. And if somebody was showing off that type of weapon, maybe somebody will recall that and let us know who saw that weapon. And that may be the key to solving this case. You are a victim of crime. When criminals strike, we all pay. It's time to strike back. This is Crooks on TV. Raw surveillance images of crimes committed in Lee County. See the crimes. Catch the crooks. Earn the reward. Watch Crooks. Starting now. This is Crooks. On the night of January 6, 2011, a man approaches the clubhouse at Mariner's Cove in Fort Myers. Stop the tape right there. Look at this. A visible tattoo. After finding an unlocked door, the man enters the clubhouse. In this particular case, uh, the individual broke into the clubhouse and uh, appears to have at one point uh, showered or, or cleaned up. Um, and then parades around naked uh, as he uh, can, commits his uh, crime throughout the night. Uh, the male suspect uh, ended up uh, taking some food items as well as some uh, a first aid kit and, and uh, napkins. Odd items to take, but again, um, certainly a, a crime nonetheless. Reported stolen first aid kit, value $45, paper napkins, $5, and one sausage, $15. The unknown white male could possibly reside in the woods west of Mariner's Cove. Uh, officers uh, responded to the scene and actually discovered uh, a black male later identified as Charles Ramsey, deceased in his vehicle. Um, I was subsequently assigned to the investigation. Um, um, at this point in time, there was a video that was actually discovered and it had actually depicted exactly what happened. At approximately 11.30 p.m. on the night of March 20th, 2009, the Fort Myers Police Department received a call. A man had been shot at the corner of Willard Street and Midway Avenue. He was visiting family members, his mother's residence. This is Willard Street in Fort Myers. On a Friday night in March 2009, Charles Ramsey drove this light-colored pickup past the salvage yard where this security camera is located to his mother's house at the corner of Willard Street and Midway Avenue. The time is 11.20 p.m and he was actually backing uh, his vehicle on uh, southbound on Midway as he entered the intersection of Midway and uh, Willard Street. Obviously, there was someone um, hidden, and they basically just ambushed him. After spending a few minutes at the home, his pickup truck is seen leaving the driveway. As he backs the truck through the intersection, someone is waiting with a gun. These pinpoints of light are the gunshots that ended Charles Ramsey's life. We'll show it again. 
wife uh, worked very closely with the family. It doesn't appear that Mr. Ramsey had any uh, known enemies. Uh, everyone in the community that I've spoken with uh, has spoken very highly of him, stated that he was pretty much a problem solver. He wasn't the type of person that would go out and look for trouble. So he wasn't a violent person at all. Police could use your help solving this murder. If you have a tip or information concerning the death of Charles Ramsey, please call or email Crime Stoppers today. You're watching Crooks on TV. Hi, I'm Bob Germain from Germain Auto Advantage here in Fort Myers. How would you like an 09 Toyota Camry or an 09 Nissan Altima for $229 a month and you own it? Sounds impossible, right? But that's the advantage here at Germain Auto Advantage. Plus, get a full year of free maintenance, a warranty, and new car finance rates, all for thousands less than new. So get the advantage at Germain Auto Advantage in Fort Myers on Colonial Boulevard, just west of I-75, or online at GermainAutoAdvantage.com. Lee County experienced over 6,200 traffic crashes. I'm Dominic Valentine of the law firm of Lustre, Sites, Tulisano and Smith. Some of these accidents involved uninsured motorists. Does your insurance protect you in this case? Does your plan allow enough coverage for lost wages and medical bills if you've been severely injured? If you've been injured in an accident, give us a call seven days a week. We can answer those questions. The initial personal injury consultation is free. Let's straight sides Tulisano and Smith, your local attorneys in Southwest Florida for over 20 years. When Harley Cooper holds in a 200-year-old treasure map, summer vacation explodes into a quest for pirate gold. A mysterious hermit holds the clues. You gotta think like a pirate, kid. Mother Nature holds the cards. But will Harley ever hold the gold? Read The Last Pirate, a novel, in stores, on Amazon, or visit thelastpirate.net. You're watching Crooks. This segment of Crooks is sponsored by Action Automatic Door and Gate, the home of the talking door. Next, did this man use a cloned credit card to steal cash in Cape Coral? Having trouble with your garage door? Action Automatic Door and Gate can help. Our professional service team will diagnose and repair your problem fast. Or get a whole new garage door system starting at just $9.95. That's a hurricane code, flow pay door, and a LiftMaster automatic opener installed for just $9.95. And as always, same day service on all brands with Action Automatic Door and Gate. Why put up with garage door problems any longer? There's only one name you need to remember. Action Automatic Door and Gate. Home of the talking door. Why do so many people come to Southwest Florida? It could be the boating. And if you like boating in Southwest Florida, you'll love the Nautical Mile, your free connection to Lee County's marine community. Get your free Nautical Mile every month in almost 200 locations. Thousands of local boaters use the Nautical Mile exclusively to find what they need. Plus, the latest information on fishing, boating, and local marine news. Every Sunday, we bring the Nautical Mile to life on the avenue. Tune in Sunday mornings, 8 to 10 on AM 1410 and 1660 for Nautical Mile Radio. The Nautical Mile, your connection to Lee County's marine community. Over the course of the last few months, individuals have been using a cloned credit card to acquire cash from ATMs up and down the west coast of Florida and a few locations on the east coast of Florida as well. Though rare, the use of cloned credit cards does occur within Lee County. I wouldn't say it's a common crime. Cloned credit cards are not very common, but people attempting to get cash or merchandise from stolen ATM cards or credit cards is relatively common, but this is, this is rather unique. Crooks captured data stored on the credit card's magnetic strip and used that information to produce a clone, a fully functional replica of an ATM card or credit card. It could be your information, your PIN number, your account information, but it is contained in, in what is on your magnetic strip has been transplanted to another card with a magnetic strip. For the past several months, police believe this man has used a cloned ATM card to steal cash all over Lee County. Very similar establishments, uh, grocery stores that have external ATM machines that are accessible right from the sidewalk. This individual would walk up, uh, enter the cloned credit card, and just uh, have it dispense cash to them. If you have any information on this crook, contact Crime Stoppers today.
Midway through uh, November, uh, we had an incident in an overnight situation where uh, a suspect uh, approached an ATM. Uh, again, he's masked in this particular situation and begins to attempt to uh, break into the ATM. On November 13th, 2010, this individual attempts to access the cash vault of an ATM on Palm Beach Boulevard using a crowbar. There's a camera footage of the individual and you actually get a very good close-up uh, photo that we've done in a, in a still form where you actually can see the eyes of the individual. Uh, sometimes just seeing an, the uh, eyes of a person uh, can lead someone to uh, identify a suspect. Notice the eyes in this photo. Observe the hat, clothing, and shoes. See anything familiar? Remember, your anonymous tip can earn you cash. Again, someone may be able to identify him just strictly by the shape of his face, uh, how his eyes look as you get a, a good close-up of him uh, in this uh, surveillance footage. Not one of the, the smarter type of, of criminals. Uh, he's unable to, of course, uh, break into the ATM, but has, of course, caused about $5,000 worth of damage to the ATM itself. If you have a tip that could help solve this crime, call Crime Stoppers today. The call is free and the tip is anonymous. You're watching Crooks. Hi, I'm an attorney, not a spokesperson. Surprised? Sometimes people are surprised when they hire a law firm and find out a legal assistant is handling their case. That doesn't happen at Lusk Dreisaitz Tolosano and Smith. You can call us and speak to a personal injury attorney 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And that's a free consultation. So if you have any questions regarding your personal injury case, call us today. We'll be happy to talk. Lusk, Dreisaitz, Tolosano and Smith. When Harley Cooper holds in a 200-year-old treasure map, summer vacation explodes into a quest for pirate gold. A mysterious hermit holds the clues. You gotta think like a pirate, kid. Mother Nature holds the cards. But will Harley ever hold the gold? Read The Last Pirate, a novel, in stores, on Amazon, or visit thelastpirate.net. Hi, I'm Bob Germain from Germain Auto Advantage here in Fort Myers. How would you like an 09 Toyota Camry or an 09 Nissan Altima for $229 a month and you own it? Sounds impossible, right? But that's the advantage here at Germain Auto Advantage. Plus, get a full year of free maintenance, a warranty, and new car finance rates, all for thousands less than new. So get the advantage at Germain Auto Advantage in Fort Myers on Colonial Boulevard, just west of I-75, or online at GermainAutoAdvantage.com. You're watching Crooks. This segment of Crooks is sponsored by The Nautical Mile, your connection to Lee County's marine community. Next, an armed bank robbery in Fort Myers. Why do so many people come to Southwest Florida? It could be the boating. And if you like boating in Southwest Florida, you'll love the Nautical Mile, your free connection to Lee County's marine community. Get your free Nautical Mile every month in almost 200 locations. Thousands of local boaters use the Nautical Mile exclusively to find what they need. Plus, the latest information on fishing, boating, and local marine news. Every Sunday, we bring the Nautical Mile to life on the Avenue. Tune in Sunday mornings, 8 to 10 on AM 1410 and 1660 for Nautical Mile Radio. The Nautical Mile, your connection to Lee County's marine community. Hi, I'm George Abel with great news from Action Automatic Door and Gate. Our spring cleaning sale is underway. Get rid of that tired old garage door opener and install a brand new LiftMaster opener for just $2.99, and that includes installation. You'll enjoy LiftMaster's ultra quiet and dependable performance, and for a limited time, you can enjoy the low sale price of just $2.99. So sweep up one of these great deals. Call or visit a showroom today. When you want it done the right way, Action Automatic Door and Gate, home of the talking door. We had a subject uh, enter the RBC Bank on San Carlos Boulevard near Fort Myers Beach. The individual actually hopped the counter. He's a masked man and he was armed with a semi-automatic uh, handgun. Uh, he, uh, of course, uh, obtains an undisclosed amount of cash, uh, exits the, uh, the building. Shortly before 10 a.m., a man enters the bank carrying a semi-automatic handgun. Moments later, he jumps onto the counter and orders the tellers to give him cash. The man flees with the money. Luckily, no one is harmed. Bank robberies, uh, 
by and large, at least what we experience here in, in Lee County, are, are rather infrequent. Um, but again, are a very scary uh, situation for uh, tellers and, and those bank employees as well as customers that may be in there at the time. This particular bank robbery um, is um, one of the more violent type in that the person actually encounters uh, the teller by jumping over a counter. Um, most bank robberies that we have um, as a general rule are notes that are passed, sometimes just even an implied weapon. But here again we have a masked man that enters the bank, rushes over the counter and confronts the uh, teller uh, directly. So that's one of the, the scariest and, and, and most dangerous types of uh, bank robberies that can occur. Let's roll that footage again. Examine these shots closely. You may recognize a detail that's been overlooked. If you have a tip, call it in. Tara Sidorovich, she was a uh, Punta Gorda resident. She was murdered at the age of 19. Um, was at home. This was a girl that really had herself together, had her life together. She was going to ECC, um, studying to be a crime scene investigator, really had her life set for her. Um, she was home one day. There was some septic tank workers that were to come to the house and do some work, and they were allegedly the last people to ever see Tara alive. It wasn't until a couple of months later that someone found Tara's body deep behind the woods, about half mile, three quarter of a mile, into the woods on Burnt Store Road. Her body had just been dumped there. The parents are see it, it's very hard for them to go on knowing that Tara's gone. They just, again, they had to go through another holiday season without their daughter, yet the person who killed her is still out there getting up every morning, doing, you know, whatever it is they do, they're living their life, and Tara's life was stopped. You know, there needs to be justice in that case. Justice for Tara, justice for Tara's family, and absolutely justice for the person who did this because they've been walking around all these years getting away with it and we don't believe that anyone should get away with that. But you know, I travel Burnstore Road quite often and as you, there's a, a, a sharp turn in the road and on the, the right side of the road there's a, a cross there with Tara's name on it and around the holiday season um, fa uh, family and friends will decorate it with Christmas decorations or Easter they'll put different things on there. Um, and I know every time that I personally drive past it, I think of Tara. I went, I walked with Tara's mom into the woods about you know, a half mile into the woods. There's a um, kind of a pathway back there to the spot where Tara was found. And I'll tell you, that is, that's an emotional journey. That was a, that's a tough walk for her mom to make. That was, that was a tough, I didn't know Tara. And that was a tough walk for me to make. And to know that someone took her lifeless body and just left it there in the woods. Um, incomprehensible and someone needs to pay the price for that. They should not be able to get away with that. Mom has actually put together a memorial site where Tara's body was found um, and it's, it's, it's just it's so hard to believe that somebody could take a human life, a beautiful human life, a beautiful girl like that and murder her. Why do so many people come to Southwest Florida? It could be the boating. And if you like boating in Southwest Florida, you'll love the Nautical Mile, your free connection to Lee County's marine community. Get your free Nautical Mile every month in almost 200 locations. Thousands of local boaters use the Nautical Mile exclusively to find what they need. Plus, the latest information on fishing, boating, and local marine news. Every Sunday, we bring the Nautical Mile to life on the avenue. Tune in Sunday mornings, 8 to 10 on AM 1410 and 1660 for Nautical Mile Radio. The Nautical Mile, your connection to Lee County's marine community. Hi, I'm Bob Germain from Germain Auto Advantage here in Fort Myers. How would you like an 09 Toyota Camry or an 09 Nissan Altima for $229 a month and you own it? Sounds impossible, right? But that's the advantage here at Germain Auto Advantage. Plus, get a full year of free maintenance, a warranty, and new car finance rates, all for thousands less than new. So get the advantage at Germain Auto Advantage in Fort Myers on Colonial Boulevard, just west of I-75, or online at GermainAutoAdvantage.com. 
Having trouble with your garage door? Action Automatic Door and Gate can help. Our professional service team will diagnose and repair your problem fast. Or get a whole new garage door system starting at just $9.95. That's a hurricane code, Clopay door, and a LiftMaster automatic opener installed for just $9.95. And as always, same day service on all brands with Action Automatic Door and Gate. Why put up with garage door problems any longer? There's only one name you need to remember. Action Automatic Door and Gate. Home of the talking door. You're watching Crooks. Next, did this couple use a stolen credit card at Target? Lee County experienced over 6,200 traffic crashes. I'm Dominic Valentine of the law firm of Lustre, Sites, Tulisano and Smith. Some of these accidents involved uninsured motorists. Does your insurance protect you in this case? Does your plan allow enough coverage for lost wages and medical bills if you've been severely injured? If you've been injured in an accident, give us a call seven days a week. We can answer those questions. The initial personal injury consultation is free. Let's straight sides Tulisano and Smith, your local attorneys in Southwest Florida for over 20 years. When Harley Cooper holds in a 200-year-old treasure map, summer vacation explodes into a quest for pirate gold. A mysterious hermit holds the clues. You gotta think like a pirate, kid. Mother Nature holds the cards. But will Harley ever hold the gold? Read The Last Pirate, a novel, in stores, on Amazon, or visit thelastpirate.net. A woman was in a, a retail store here in Cape Coral where her wallet was taken out of her purse, unbeknownst to her. And when she got home from shopping for the day, she discovered that, that her wallet was, was missing. By the time she got home from that retail store where it was taken, she had already been notified by her credit card company that there was some fraudulent activity on her card. Uh, we believe the suspects who took her wallet then attempted to buy merchandise at a different store. They went to a, a, a another national retail chain uh, purchased high-end electronics with her credit card. At first they were declined with one of the credit cards in her wallet, but then upon using a second, they were able to purchase several high-end uh, computer electronics. People believe the couple pictured here used the stolen credit cards to buy the electronics. This camera shows their hasty departure from the store. Earlier in the day, cameras at another store photographed the same couple. If you know either of these people, call Crime Stoppers now. Don't leave your purse unattended in a shopping cart. That's one of the most easy marks, is when you have your purse open in the front of the shopping cart, you turn your back or, or even walk down the aisle, it just takes a second for somebody to reach in and grab your wallet. They won't take your entire purse because you notice that, but at every, most purses look the same when they're open. There's a phone, keys, and a wallet and so forth in that wallet. It's easy to spot and easy to grab. So a good rule of thumb, when you leave your cart, even turn your back on your cart, put, the, put your bag on your shoulder. Crime Stoppers was set up so that regular ordinary citizens could, um, could do the right thing without getting involved with law enforcement. Um, so often people see things, they hear things, or they know things, but they don't want to get involved in the process. What we do is provide them with a neutral place where they can call us anonymously, tell us what they know, get it off their chest, be a good citizen. We then uh, give that information to law enforcement, they investigate it. Ultimately, we're, we're, we hope for an arrest. Um, when there is an arrest in a case, we make sure that we pay the tipster out quickly. It's worked for us for so, so many years. Um, last year, we gave out about $170,000 in reward money. Um, it's all criminals' dollars. It's um, once a criminal is, is uh, convicted of a crime, they're assessed a fee. Part of that comes back to Crime Stoppers in the form of a grant. So essentially, we're using bad guys' money to put more bad guys behind bars. So it's not tax dollars, it's bad guys' money. But we just want, to know, want people to know that we are that safe place that they can get things off their chest, they can help law enforcement do their job, get the bad guys off the street and into jail, and if they can walk away with a couple hundred bucks, perfect. Lee County experienced over 6,200 traffic crashes. I'm Dominic Valentine of the law firm of Lustre, Sites, Tulisano and Smith. Some of these accidents involved uninsured motorists. Does your insurance protect you in this case? Does your plan allow enough coverage for lost wages and medical bills if you've been severely injured? If you've been injured in an accident, give us a call seven days a week. 
we can answer those questions. The initial personal injury consultation is free. Lutz Straight Sides, Tulisano and Smith, your local attorneys in Southwest Florida for over 20 years. Having trouble with your garage door? Action Automatic Door and Gate can help. Our professional service team will diagnose and repair your problem fast. Or get a whole new garage door system starting at just $9.95. That's a hurricane code, flow pay door, and a LiftMaster automatic opener installed for just $9.95. And as always, same day service on all brands with Action Automatic Door and Gate. Why put up with garage door problems any longer? There's only one name you need to remember. Action Automatic Door and Gate. Home of the talking door. Why do so many people come to Southwest Florida? It could be the boating. And if you like boating in Southwest Florida, you'll love the Nautical Mile, your free connection to Lee County's marine community. Get your free Nautical Mile every month in almost 200 locations. Thousands of local boaters use the Nautical Mile exclusively to find what they need. Plus, the latest information on fishing, boating, and local marine news. Every Sunday, we bring the Nautical Mile to life on the Avenue. Tune in Sunday mornings, 8 to 10 on AM 1410 and 1660 for Nautical Mile Radio. The Nautical Mile, your connection to Lee County's marine community. Hi, I'm Bob Germain from Germain Auto Advantage here in Fort Myers. How would you like an 09 Toyota Camry or an 09 Nissan Altima for $229 a month and you own it? Sounds impossible, right? But that's the advantage here at Germain Auto Advantage. Plus, get a full year of free maintenance, a warranty, and new car finance rates, all for thousands less than new. So get the advantage at Germain Auto Advantage in Fort Myers on Colonial Boulevard, just west of I-75, or online at GermainAutoAdvantage.com. When Harley Cooper holds in a 200-year-old treasure map, summer vacation explodes into a quest for pirate gold. A mysterious hermit holds the clues. You gotta think like a pirate, kid. Mother Nature holds the cards. <laughs> but will Harley ever hold the gold? Read The Last Pirate, a novel, in stores, on Amazon, or visit thelastpirate.net. Now let's recap this week's crooks. Look these pictures over carefully. An anonymous tip from you could lead to an arrest. And that arrest could put $1,000 in your pocket and put a crook in jail. Want to catch a crook? Watch Crooks on TV each week, same time, same place. To watch past episodes, visit crooksontv.com. This has been Crooks on TV. TV.